Hi friends, Brittany Frost here and we've got our free pumpkin circuit workout. Y'all, I'm gonna do one round with you to show you the moves. You've got 10 moves, okay? 10 reps of each move. We're gonna get through the circuit one full time without taking a break, then we'll rest for a minute and then you got two more rounds to do for a total of three rounds through your pumpkin circuit workout. Now I'm using a pumpkin today because it's pumpkin season, but feel free to use a kettlebell, you could use a medicine ball, you could use dumbbells if you happen to have those, or you guys, you could simply just use your own body weight on a lot of these exercises. I'm gonna show the regular versions, but there are modifications on anything that you do. So if you feel the need for your particular journey where your body's at to modify something, please do. There is no shame in modifying anything that we do. In fact, you're probably gonna see me do a lot of the push-ups and things that include our arm strength on my knees because I have been feeling a lot of this stuff in my lower back lately and so I'm being mindful of that in my journey. Okay, so you're gonna wanna have your pumpkin or your weight with you. You're gonna wanna have water on hand, of course, and you guys, turn up some jams, get some music going, and let's make this fun. So we've got pumpkin swings, which are just like a kettlebell swing, okay? We've got Russian twists with our pumpkin, going one on each side is one rep, okay? So we're gonna do technically 20 total for a total of 10 back and forth. We've got overhead tricep curls using our pumpkin, sumo squats. We're gonna do uneven push-ups, meaning one hand on the ground, one hand on your pumpkin. For push-ups, that's when I will be on my knees, you will see that. Uh, we're gonna do lunges with a twist using our pumpkin and wood choppers. So chopping the wood with our weight or our pumpkin. We're gonna do burpees, yes we are. And we're gonna do tricep push-ups. And finally, we will wrap up the round with weighted toe touch crunches, you guys. So make sure you've got something comfortable that you're wearing. I'm going barefoot because I like to work out barefoot in my house, but you do you, boo, okay? All right, here we go, you guys. Starting with 10 pumpkin swings. Be mindful of where your pumpkin is and how you're holding it, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, we got this, nine, and 10. All right, taking it to the ground, guys. Russian twists, holding on to your pumpkin. You can keep your feet planted on the ground, or you can lift them up if you wanna stabilize that core a little more, and tap each side is one, and two, and three, and four, and five, halfway, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, one more each side, and 10. Awesome job, guys. Next, taking it back up, you guys, we're gonna do our overhead tricep curls. So you wanna stand in a firm position, pumpkin is gonna go over your head, and you're gonna curl back, keeping those elbows tight to your ears, is one. And two, stomach in, and three, hold that core tight, don't stick out your belly, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, two more, we're almost there, you got this, and nine, last one, last one, and whoo, 10, almost lost it guys, those are killer. Also, the weight of the pumpkin you pick has everything to do with how difficult, challenging, or lack thereof this workout is. If you've got a mini pumpkin in your hand, you're definitely not working as hard as I am right now. Okay, we're gonna go with sumo squats next, guys. So holding that pumpkin, feet are turning out, knees are going over the toes, and you're just holding the pumpkin here as you squat down and up, squeezing at the top. And two, we've got 10 total, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, last one, here we go, nice and down, 10, great job. All right, y'all, here we go. Uneven push-ups. So be mindful, guys, that you're on a very solid surface here. So there, play, plant the pumpkin, and then I'm gonna move this back so you can see the pumpkin. And then plant your hand next to the pumpkin so your hands are uneven. Now, if this is too much for you, my friend, go with a regular standard push-up on your knees. No shame in that, okay? So. Here we go, we got 10, and I'm gonna be down on my knees. 10 each side, and one, and two, three, four, you got it, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and 10, good. Stretch it back, stretch out your arms. We're gonna flip to the other side so that our hands are uneven in the other way, okay? Here we go, so move your pumpkin under that left hand. Right hand's gonna be on the ground this time. You could be on your knees or on your toes, whatever works for you. Elbows are going outward, chest towards the floor. Here we go, and one, and two, three, four, Five, halfway, you got this. Six, and seven, and eight, two more guys, we got it, we got it. And nine, and 10, great job, stretch it back. You stretch while I tell you your next move. So the next move, you guys, is going to be a lunge with a twist. So we're gonna do 10 on each side. Whatever leg goes back, that is the side you're gonna twist your core to, holding the pumpkin. Make sure you're on a stable surface, you guys. If the pumpkin is too much with the twist, take the pumpkin out and just keep your hands on your hips. Here we go. We got 10 on each side. And let's start with the left leg back. Here we go. One, twist. That's one. <laughs> Two. And three. 90 degree angle with that knee, you guys. Be mindful of that. Four. Five. Six, four more, here we go. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one, last one. And 10, good, right into the other side, here we go. One, twist toward that leg. Two. Three, four, five, we're halfway, almost there, working those legs. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, here we go, one last one, ten. Great. Job, you guys, we are so close. Okay, we've got wood choppers. So you're going to bring the pumpkin down to the ankle. Okay, knees going over the toes in a squat position. When you come up, you'll pivot your body and twist, lifting the pumpkin up high for one. Okay, and we've got 10 total on each side, y'all. Here we go. We've got one. Two, three, four, really twist, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, chest up, ten. All right, guys, here we go. Arms got a big enough break for sure. Other side, wood choppers. Here we go. In three, two, one, drop it to the right ankle, lift and twist to the left. Two, up, three, leave that chest up and four, knees over the toes, hips go back. Five, six, seven, almost there, 
eight, nine, keep that torso tight as you twist, and 10, great. Good job, wood choppers are done. All right guys, on to your favorite and mine, burpees. So you don't have to do the jump, you can do the jump, you can step your legs back, you can hop your legs back, you can lift the pumpkin in the air when you jump or when you stand up. Tons of modifications, okay? Be smart, be safe, do what works for you. Here we go, we got 10. Three, two, one, put the pumpkin down, jump back, in, jump up, put it down. Hands come to the surface of the ground, you guys, unless you have a really stable and large pumpkin, I prefer your hands on the floor, a lot safer that way. Four, got five, five, five more, here we go, half a six, seven, eight, two more, nine, crazy. All right, guys, two more moves. Tricep push-ups and we've got weighted toe touch crunches. Let's start with those tricep push-ups. So, ideally, we want to keep both hands on the pumpkin. I like to twist my elbows to face the front so that my, so that my elbow bone goes straight along my ribs into the back, you guys, not outward. So you wanna keep it tight to your body. Now, if you feel really unstable on your pumpkin, no worries, you move that out of the way. You do the same motion on the ground, okay? We got 10, toes up, knees down, whatever you want. Here we go, three, two, one, one. Up, chest towards that pumpkin, two, three. You're so close to the end of the circuit. Four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, two more, two more, nine, and 10. Awesome job, you guys. Let's take it to our backs, okay? We're going to lift our heels in the air, holding a pumpkin at our chest as we lay down, so be safe. First turn over onto your bottom, Find out, figure out where you're gonna sit, and then roll down leaving that pumpkin on top of you so that you don't have to reach and risk tweaking something as you do that. So legs are gonna go up in the air like this, feet flexed. You're gonna lift the pumpkin up, then using your chest, not your neck, you're gonna lift up and pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10, bring the pumpkin down, set it off to the side, come on up. And this, my friends, is your one minute break where you get water, okay? And then, guess what? Yeah, you got it, two more times through the circuit, you guys. Don't forget to share your photos with me, let me know how you're doing, and be safe, be smart, and have an awesome day, y'all.